Hello everybody, today we are going to answer or try to answer a pretty big question we get from a lot of people. Um, it, there's a lot of directions we can go in. Uh, we're going to try to narrow it down our best. And that question is, what diet is right for you? So first of all, there's tons of options. Uh, you might have heard things about keto or paleo or, you know, going vegan or all kinds of uh, different things people are asking about and it seems like a new diet kind of strategy pops up every week these days so we're gonna try to break that down um, it's really important to know that we're all different we're all unique how we absorb food um, how our relationship is with food all de depends on so many factors so because of that there's no one-size-fits-all approach here so keep that in mind whenever you're creating your own diet because what might work for me might not work for someone else. Um, maybe I'm the kind of person that can eat the exact same thing every single day and be totally happy with that and maybe other people need much, much more variety than that. So um, that's just one factor, there's plenty more. Um, the first thing I want to mention here is the, the first line we have up on our board here which is the perfect diet is the one that makes you look, feel, and perform your best, and the one that you can follow regularly. So um, you look, feel, and perform great on it, and you can follow it sustainably for a long period of time. That's what would make the perfect diet for each individual. Sounds easy. As we all know, it's not so simple. Um, First, I want to talk about that whole look, feel, and perform thing quickly. So I find the look thing is people's physical appearance is usually why they feel they need to get into a diet. And I feel like it's a little bit overdone, to be honest. Um, but how you look is very important and how you look at yourself is even more important. So it's definitely a factor, but I don't want you to put all your eggs in that basket. Um, how you feel and perform are actually probably better indicators. Um, your mood, so how you feel could also be, you know, a part of that is your mood. And a lot of times people kind of look over the fact that your mood can really be affected uh, positively or negatively by your diet, by the food you consume. Sometimes people don't really see it that way, but it is the truth. So, um, you know, paying attention to how you're, how you're feeling, how your mood is, um, depending on your diet could could have a huge influence on what foods are and are not sitting well for you um, performance is another thing a lot of times when we talk about performance people think it's like in the gym uh, performance could be at work it could be you know how your you know how much mental capacity you have while you're at work if you feel clarity during your day or if you feel kind of foggy um, so if you feel tired halfway through the day or if you feel good energy throughout the day, nice and sustainable. So that performance doesn't necessarily just have to be in the gym, although how you perform in the gym is also a great indicator of if your food is working for you or not. Um, the first step going past this is quality. So before anyone chooses what diet they wanna try, I always recommend they just start with just start with quality. So what does that mean? Well, in our opinions, real un unprocessed food is the best way to go. So basically like plants and animals, meats and veggies, a little bit of fruit, a um, little bit of nuts and seeds, uh, that type of thing every single day is what we wanna eat. We wanna stay away from things that are processed. So things that are packaged, made in a lab, all that stuff. Um, if you stay away from that stuff and you stick to the real uh, food, in, you know, here we said see paleo because uh, according to us, the paleo diet is, that's exactly what is it, it is. It's just natural uh, foods that are found around, around the world and, and things that grow naturally. And that's kind of what we want to see you guys uh, try to start with. So whether you're doing keto or whether you're uh, vegan or whether you want to, you know, try intermittent fasting or something like that, as long as you're eating high quality food, that's the biggest step in the right direction when it comes time to staying healthy. Um, the next thing that I want to talk about quickly here is, is it working? So are you happy, again, with how you look, feel, and perform? Sometimes I talk to people and they're like, oh, well, this is how I eat and I've been eating like this for a long time. And then I ask them, are you happy with how you look, feel, and perform? 
and then they're kind of like, well, I guess it could be better. So remember, whatever you've been eating up until this point in your life has gotten you to exactly where you are. So if you want to make positive change, you're going to have to also alter something that you're consuming on a regular basis. Um, the only really way to know if it's working is by tracking it. And I'm not just saying tracking your food. I'm also saying to track how you look, feel, and perform. So some of these variables are gonna change day to day throughout the week, but it's all about trying to find some trends. What do you feel for the most part? So um, you know, a great way to do that, and uh, in, in the first step is to just make a plan. So make a plan on what kind of foods you're gonna eat, what kind of diet you're gonna follow, and then the second step is start tracking that plan. So track how you look, feel, perform, and what kind of foods you're eating on a daily basis. After you track it for a certain amount of time, I always like to use 28 days, four weeks, that's a pretty uh, nice number, you adjust based on your results. So after 28 days, if you're feeling really happy, you're going in the right direction, you might not be exactly where you wanna be, but you know you've improved your habits, you feel better, you look better, you perform better, um, your quality of food is uh, getting better. If you're happy with all that, then just kinda keep going on what you're doing. The biggest thing is, to remember that finding what actually works for you, it's a journey. It's not something that's just gonna happen in, in one day. It's something that you're gonna adjust as you go uh, through the course of your life. So just like anything, it's, it's a skill. Um, and to make a skill better, you just gotta keep practicing it. Try different things, try removing things, try adding things. Um, and remember that the path to success is not linear. So, um, you know, you're, you're, you might take three or four steps forward and then you might kind of mess something up or you might kind of revert back to your old ways and then take a step or two back. The most important thing is knowing that whatever you've been doing has moved you in the right direction and then, or if it's moving you in the wrong direction, then you know you're kind of getting further and you have to make more adjustments. Remember guys, overall, um, track it first. First make a plan, then track your plan, and then adjust it as you go according to your results. Awesome talking to you today, guys. Let us know if you have any questions about this or anything else diet related.